Hello everyone and welcome to Realistic Progression 1 in Kerbal Space Program 1.3.1. I have finally decided to try out RP1, which is the sequel to RP0, the career mode for Realism Overhaul. And I've so far resisted doing that because first of all it wasn't fully released, and second of all, I had my hands full with RP0 anyway. And I wanted to progress beyond the 1980s finally and not go back to the 1950s, but we're going to go back to the 1950s. Okay, so we're going to start a little career mode. I'm not guaranteeing it's going to go anywhere or uh, last for very long, but we'll try it out. I have already tried RP1 on a live stream on Twitch, and so I got my grievances out. I griped basically for the entire stream. So hopefully I can make a nice clean video where I'm just going to be doing things. Uh, so I, I learned a few of the details. Um, not that any of it was particularly surprising. But yeah, so we're starting fresh. Now the version of the mods that I've got are the version that are in the package, the package of mods that are on the Realism Overhaul Discord. And so they, they, it's a particular versions that they've picked uh, for each of the mods. I'll link the GitHub for RP0, which is still the GitHub for RP1. And there it has the requirements. Of course, I have all the requirements. Uh, I've got most of the highly recommended, except I don't think I have Janitor's Closet right now. I'm not using Kerbal Engineer. Uh, I am not using RCS build aid yet, though probably I'll add that. I'm not using science alert or science situation info yet. Um, I think I have stage recovery. Uh, I don't know what the WASD editor is. So other than that, all of the highly recommended ones I have in here. And then for suggested mods, uh, it has Raiderdix mods and uh, I don't have all of those, but I did put U.S. probes from the 1960s. So I took the Raider Nix U.S. probes pack and took out all the stuff from beyond the 1960s. So that's what I've got right now. I have FASA. I do not have Kerbal Renamer. I do have KOS. I do have real engines, but not real scale boosters, Blue Dog, Design Bureau, Soviet Engine Pack. I do have t B and I do not have Waypoint Manager. Now those are all the mods on the GitHub that they list as things that are either required, highly recommended, or suggested. So I'm going to just blatantly assume that I should not add anything else just yet. We'll figure that out as we go along. So um, if, if that was too much for you, uh, it'll probably change. So I'll hold off on the whole trying to compile this thing. Um, because during the series I'll probably make some changes depending on if I see that there's a gap somewhere and uh, I don't know exactly how the tech tree works so I don't yet know right now how to like add parts to a tech tree which I knew for the community tech tree tech tree so we'll see how that works all right obviously we need career and we'll call this um, well, second try. I only spent like a few hours on it on Twitch. Um, difficulty, I don't know what they expect me to pick. I did it on normal during the Twitch stream, so, and that seemed very easy. Um, I certainly didn't run out of money. So, let's see. I think 20,000 starting funds will be tough. I think uh, I'll go with moderate for now. I'm not that hardcore. I want indestructible facilities because that's just always annoying. Um, allow reverts? No. Allow quick loading? You know, okay, I'm, I'll tell you when I revert, but I, I'm afraid of bugs. So in the case of a bug, I would like to just keep that up. But uh, I'll just tell you if I'm going to do it or not. And it'll be because I feel like there's some sort of bug or, not, or some other reason like I tipped over a lander on the moon. But anyway, but but you'll know. Um, require signal for control. I think uh, remote tech handles these things, but I'll uh, keep those on. Mm, part pressure limits. That's a uh, trouble for Venus, but I don't like Venus anyway. It's fine uh, because I don't think they've configured the parts for Venus to deal with Venus gravity. Not sure. I might have to add Raider next Soviet probes pack and hope that some some probe in that pack can handle Venus. 
Um, KOS, I just always start on archive. I've, uh, well, um, the MacJeb would be MacJeb, yeah. Okay, that's a different save where I had to mention that comment that I just skipped over. And I think that's it. So that's, those are my settings. Oh, Kerbal's level up immediately, why not? Okay, so that's it, accept. And I don't have my flag in yet. So we'll pretend to be NASA because this is, or I'll just have the American flag, that's fine. Okay. Okay, remote tech is gonna be remote tech for the beginning. Um, yeah, I'll just keep it as is and we'll deal with signal delay as necessary. Uh, choose preset for Kerbal construction time. I'm assuming it's RP0. Um, that would make sense. So save. And then, uh, wait, let me just deal with the initial retirement data. Okay, so this is when our Kerbals retire, and they retire now. Uh, retirement will be delayed the more interesting mm, flights they fly. Okay and permit all connectivity spin upgrades well i've got one upgrade point that's not great um let's just get more science okay and the upgrade points are pretty expensive i thought it was like ten thousand in uh, rp0 before uh, right now it's thirty thousand here so let's that's we can't just buy upgrade points right from the start here all right. Well, let me take a look at our contracts. Oh yeah, I forgot to turn off stock. Um, we'll see. That's not a big problem. First launch. Well, yes, obviously. Unlock parts tech node. Click to unlock one second. Jeez, that's rough. But it's automatically given. I, I don't know. Okay, I think that, uh, uh, yeah, there's no more available. That was the only one we could pick up. Research and development. Now, this is the weird thing I noticed. Uh, starting parts, it says I can't research the starting parts because it requires 999 science. Now, during the live stream, I backed out of the save and came back in and it worked. So it was unlocked. So let me do that. Yep, it unlocked, and it's gonna cost us 8,000 to unlock all the parts. Well, some of them are expensive, this fast of fuel tank, like, most of them are just one, one buck, but I don't need all of them, really. But the fast of fuel, I can't click unlock all the parts because of that fast of fuel tank and some of these other little parts, illuminators, I don't need lights right now, that's not important. So we'll just unlock it in the VAB. All right, so given that, let's see what we can build. Starting with a sounding rocket telemetry unit, and I'm gonna assume that you haven't done this before, so we're gonna go on that basis. I'm sure most of you are itching to give me suggestions. <laughs> so we, we will see. Um, all right, so what I baselined for on the live stream was uh, I had a 0.32 meter tank and then a 0.48 but we didn't really use the 0.32 afterwards so I'm just gonna go straight to a 0.48 now this error B uh, if we middle click that has a burn time of 50 seconds and it needs a pressurized tank so here on tank 1 we go to that tank high pressure boy is that not clear, clear but uh, I guess over here hopefully it describes that no it doesn't say anything about it okay um, they assume you know. So, that's what we've got there, and obviously that is going to be too much time. And if I've got a baseline to this tank size, so, and I'll explain the reason for that, um, we probably want a second stage anyway. And how about a nose cone as a parachute? So, what they've done in RP1 that's different from RP0 is primarily this whole uh, tooling thing. And basically, the t uh, I mean, take a look at this tiny little rocket. It's 
464 funds, that's really expensive compared to what it used to be in RP0 for something like this, like it used to be like 20. But if you spend a lot of money up front, you can just keep getting this tank uh, for cheap, for one fund, amazingly. So yeah, we'll, we will tool that tank. Because I want that diameter. Okay, and so now it's a mere 43, which is, but I guess the parachutes is, uh, well, anyway. So we have one stage. Why, why do we have another stage? Same diameter, so that we can minimize the cost. Now, and the inner stages also have to be tooled, and we need to make sure that it is. You know what, um, here's the thing, we're going to upgrade the Airbies uh, to XASRs and those are going to need larger tanks. I probably shouldn't have tooled this tank size at all because what we really want is something a little bit bigger. Let's just uh, get some room in and what we're going to do is reduce the utilization in order to get down to 50 seconds. But then once we upgrade the engine we'll expand on that. So 1.5 meters. That delta fairing itself has to be tooled, and it's expensive. The, the fairings are really expensive, to be honest. And I wonder if it's worth it, or whether I should just put a decoupler there without a fairing. I mean, do we need the fairing? Because, you know, that's, that's a serious expense right there. Alright, well, now we have to figure out exactly how to stabilize this. That means fins. Also, we might as well toss some science up in here. Biological sample capsule is a bit big for this. Maybe we should have made a tank that was the size of the biological sample capsule. That might have made sense. Okay, so what we want to do is, when I press 7, I'll analyze telemetry, log temperature, and log pressure. Well, the thing about procedural wings is they they really aren't, and we'll use the all-moving wing. Oh, no, we're not, because I'm not going to have uh, avionics anyway. Oh, well, I mean, I'm not going to have control anyway, let me put it that way. Um, we're just going to be able to stage in basically nothing else. The thing with procedural wings is that they were made to make wings. Maybe I should use that air fin instead. How big is that? Uh, that's probably about the right size. I feel like the trying to shape the wings down is too much. First time we're gonna go straight up. Now we really don't need too much tilt on the fins. I think that's just a little bit of tilt. It might still be too much. I might need um, fins going the opposite way up top, but Oh, that, that, that has possibilities, actually. We'll leave that be and test that out. I haven't tried these fins before. Okay, and there we have um, a rocket. And I, on the live stream, I called it error B1 and error B2 and all that, for simplicity's sake. Um, let's be even more generic. Rocket 1. And it's 36 days to build. That's not too bad. Okay, here we are. Throttle up. There is no SAS. And, um, for science. Ignition. And launch. We have a roll. We should do some science right away. Temperature scan. It's too fast to roll. But I, I, yeah, we're probably going to have to have limiting fins on the top to try and reduce the roll. Because there's no way I can tilt it any less than I tilted it. Anytime you get the fairings looking like they're separating there, your roll is too much. Seems like it's better at queuing up the sciences when I uh, do a lot of sciences quickly. Okay... Yeah, vapor and feed lines. That's what I was afraid of. Mm. Interestingly, you know, it used the ignition. Okay. 
Well, we can recover this, but it's fully fueled, so it's not going to recover that well. Let's see, we're not going to go to high above, so we're not going to get any more signs this time. They didn't ask us to go to space yet. They didn't give us a contract for that, so it's okay. We'll wait until we can get money for it. It's interesting how it's ended up rotating on this axis. It was rotating on a totally different axis before. It was rotating, you know, about its uh, length. 9.5 meters per second. Well, it should survive that. Let's see. Yep. Good flop. Recover. Okay, we got some science. We got some recovery. I know about uh, recovering through uh, Kerbal construction time, but... Uh, that seems very convoluted. I'd, I'd rather just get the funds back Because uh, the way it goes into storage and then you have to edit it and I don't understand any of it So we'll see we'll see how that shakes up as it is We have the ability to unlock some technologies and since it takes time to unlock technologies with Kerbal construction time We should just get on with it I'm not thrilled with the whole solid rocket engines. What I want is, I got FASA in, that's something I didn't have during the stream, and what I want is the Explorer Core. But wow, it's pretty advanced, huh? Um, avionics seems important to me, and tank upgrades. But let's get avionics. What I really, really, really want is the Able Avionics Core. Does it still have the properties it had before? Yes, five tons of avionics. That's what I want. I want five tons of avionics. Honestly, since that's basically the core that was supposed to be on Vanguard, it should be able to carry Vanguard. So this five tons of avionics is a little bit underdoing it for the able avionics package, but whatever. Um, early science. Uh, I think the tanks are important. So, but and engines. But material science, I believe, is where we get the tank stuff, service module, and then, um, let's just, come on, oh, I can't, oh, there we go, uh, tank 2, tank 2, uh, so the different kinds of tanks have different structural masses, dry masses, and different utilizations. HP version can hold sounding rocket payload. That's another thing. They have sounding rocket payloads. Anyway, we need to do this. And we probably ought to just queue that up right away. And I'm gonna queue that up right away. And we'll be better off for all of that. We're holding off on the engines for now. Much to the light of Araby fans. Oh, and we've got upgrade points now. Let's increase our build rates to 0 0.075, a 50% increase. And then increase our leveling there. I wonder if it's because I was playing on normal difficulty before and now I'm playing on moderate that the times and other things seem better balanced. Maybe maybe playing on normal was not the right thing to do. Anyway, uh, on the other hand, playing on normal, I mean, it's playing on moderate. Uh, I haven't gotten nearly as many funds from doing the these sorts of the, well, especially the automatic stuff, as I did during the live stream. So that's probably going to affect my calculus here. Uh, breaking the sound barrier, crude boy, was that a pain? But. Uh, Above 80 kilometers, I'll take that. 90 days though, so we have to build it in 90 days. Maybe I should build the rocket first. Uh, what? This one doesn't have a deadline, that's good. But this one does, so I'll only pick that up after I build the rocket. So, in order to solve the problem and get to space, I'm gonna try and add these aerodynamic fins, but we're gonna have to check out the the center of lift in that situation. All right, we will go with this. And try to get to space this time. 
We'll still call it Rocket One. We'll confuse any spies that might be in our midst. 24 days to build the rocket? Seems reasonable. And roll out one day. Yep, okay. Somehow during the live stream I had some sort of weird math error. Okay, and we will get post-war avionics in 48 days, material science 74 days, 223 and 223 for the higher level ones. Sounds good. Okay, throttle up, no SAS, and ignition, and launch. I'm aware that I could probably do some science on the ground. Uh, on previous versions of RP0, it didn't give anything though, so I'm not 100% sure. The roll rate is still pretty fast. We'll see if we can despin after decoupling though. Oh, we lost an engine. The fins are still helping to control it. Test flight. As the air gets thinner and the thrust gets higher, I don't know if the spin will be sufficient to control it, but it's spinning pretty darn fast now. Maybe I did something horribly wrong. I'm not going to ignite the upper stage engine immediately. Okay, they're done. Let's decouple. And in theory, this should despin gradually. If it's got any sort of grip on the atmosphere. Don't suppose the engine's got... Well, it says very stable, but I don't trust it. Should we trust it? Oh, it ignited. You know what, they, it'd be funny if uh, it was implemented, if rockets automatically exploded if they went inland, or were over populated areas. That'd be tough, but you know, realisms and everything. Yeah, I was uh, Star Citizen that gave me that uh, notion, remember it had the sort of orange zone, a no-fly zone, that you automatically got attacked if you passed. an automatic range safety instead of relying on uh, us to you know right click the controller and do range safety anyway I think we're getting to space this time uh, let's do upper atmosphere or forest of an earth I, I've been to Florida once I don't remember forest but, I mean there, there's a there's a swamp I guess it counts all right, we are in space. 5.4 signs for temperature scan. Just above forest of the Earth, uh, so won't be hard to get a forest. I, I expected shores, to be honest. Um, telemetry analysis. And be sure we record that we have very, very low pressure. Oh. Uh, fins exploded. Interesting. Well, I mean, they, they're not supposed to be good for high velocities, I suppose. They're early wings. What? 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 What just happened? What just happened? Uh crashed into the earth? No, well, wait a minute. Failed due to aerodynamic stress and it crashed into earth? Uh, I, I wasn't even time warping at 4x time warp. I was only at 3x. I don't know. There's some dubious thing going on just there. I'll let you review the video to check. But, um, yeah. They cheated us uh, for covering that. But, anyway. Let's move on. I would call it a bug, but it's not that big a bug. I'm not going to revert for that after such a success. Okay, well, uh, it's a good idea to unlock some engines now. Hmm, don't really care about those. 
What do I want? Well, A series is not bad. Where did the Vanguard engine go? AJ 10 is all the way up here? Hmm. And Vanguard. Well, that's, that's a thought. I really wanted this, but uh, it requires satellite era electronics research, which costs 10. And that has solar panels. That's pretty valuable. Well, we can get this basic rocketry. We need satellite era material science as well to get this oral rocketry. These are some of the radar nick probes. I really want Explorer 1, but then again, I also want these engines. But yeah, let's get the electronics research first. That's going to take a while though, 744 days, but we've got upgrade points now. Um, but we do have two extra science points. Early solid rocket engines? Nah. What? Why, why is this engine here? Oh, that's a baby sergeant upgrade? Well, that's just a generic icon. Supersonic plane development. Well, that does give us better wings so they don't explode. Though, that doesn't explain what happened on the way back down. But, alright. Well, we'll get that for the wings. Upgrade points, and one reason I wanted to do that was to get more upgrade points. It seems like our build times are pretty well constrained now, so I'm good with that. It's important that we get the technology unlocked, so R&D it is. Well, at this point it behooves us to try and make the largest Air B rocket that we can. So let me stop recording for a bit and take my time on this and I'll come back to you with a large air bee rocket that's going to try and go horizontal. Okay, as I've put 25 little air bee engines at the bottom and 5 air bee engines here and size the tank to 1.2 meters, it occurs to me that maybe I should wait for the tank 2 upgrade which has, you know, better mass fraction than this one before buying the tooling for all this because we're gonna have to pay a lot for the tooling and why tool this one when we can get the tooling for the tank too so basically unlike in real life you're just gonna have to sit on your hands and wait for better technology which is not exactly what they did but it's certainly the most economical thing to do if you know that better technology is on the way um, this, of course, is reminiscent of the simple rockets design where I had uh, 1 pixie, 5 pixies, and 25 pixies. And there's a reason you do that ratio um, if everything has the same ISP, which in this case they do. But yeah, I think I'll wait for the tank upgrade before actually doing this. So let's, let's see how long that's going to take. Uh, this will be rocket 3. Now this tank is utilization 25% and that's because it's really uh, meant for the RD100 down here. So that's why it's this size. It's much bigger than 25 air bees need. And also of course it could be reused for the XASR but for the XASR I don't think I'm going to... anyway we'll see. We'll see when we get to that. So tentatively rocket 3. Okay, so technology-wise, we're unlocking avionics first, but what we want is, I think, post-war material science? No, what we really need is early material science. That has a tank, too, that we want. Okay, so, yep, we're just going to wait it out. Let's uh, up and get those up there. No, no, come on. Okay, and that's 237 days. We're not going to miss anything, right? Nope, we haven't picked up any new contracts, and we'll wait on that, that's for sure. Reach suborbital trajectory and return. So maybe that'll be our goal, actually. Well, one goal. Okay, so we've got those. And what I'd like to do, uh, post-war avionics, does that have the able core on it? 
No, avionics prototypes has the able core. Well, those that are next to. All right, so let's make our big air B rocket now. Big air B rocket bar. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Rocket 3 is chock full of features. We still have the same upper stage here, um, exactly the same. But on our second stage, we have a goo container plus a parachute, and stage recovery thinks it can handle that, so we'll see. And then, of course, our five Arabies, and for the first time, a procedural avionics unit that uh, unfortunately we can't set to less than 10 tons. And it's pretty heavy at 0.34 tons. But uh, we have the helium for RCS thrusters here so that we can spin stabilize the upper stage manually if necessary or despin. The, the aerodynamic fins are tilted here just a little bit. The bottom ones are not this time. So we're trying to keep that as stable as possible. But we do want to spin stabilize a little bit because uh, in case of an engine out situation. Now, uh, when I previously showed this, I think I only had 21 engines at the bottom. I've made sure that we have 25. And of course, that this tank is very low utilization. Uh, so is this, really. Um, but uh, they're tank twos, so that's good. Oh, this has to be HP. Let's make sure of that. Otherwise, we're not going to have any pressure to feed the engines. Okay. So we are not getting nearly as much Delta V out of this as we could if we weren't doing procedural avionics, goo container, parachute there, you know, all that business. But I just want to, it's tilted a little bit, but I don't really want to go fully horizontal. I just wanted to get over the ocean so that we could do ocean science instead of forest science. And I wanted to go high up if possible and see what we can do there. So on that note, we need to um, do some tooling. Right, because otherwise it's 13,000. Let's see the effect of tooling on this. Um, so we get to tool the tank two, and let's tool. Let's just manually tool this to see how much each little bit of tooling helps. I mean, that's a huge gap. It's like they totally didn't have anything. Like they they just picked up the tank somewhere. They never actually built the tank. I mean, it's like uh, if it's untooled. Um, they have no ability to replicate this tank at all or something. I don't know, whatever. Or they're buying it from some really rich person. Anyway, uh, tool tank, purchase tooling. Uh, we'll tool this one as well. They'll be handy tanks. I imagine this to be a good booster tank. So for a much larger rocket, I think that'll be good. So um, yeah, let's tool this. And then this will eventually probably become an upper stage tank. I mean, um, final stage tank. Okay, so the downside to all this is of course it it uh, doesn't exactly encourage non-cylindrical tanks. Um, conic tanks, you don't really want conic tanks. So the Russian thing, those, those you know, the Soyuz tanks, I mean, why would you make a Soyuz tank if you got tooling like this? Um, unless you're gonna have Soyuz run for 50 years. But you get the picture, right? I mean, R7, I mean. But yeah. Yeah, well, it does limit your design choices as far as, uh, you know, like, let's say I wanted to put a little round tank down here for for style, for style points, you know, instead of this horrible texture down here, I wanted to add some style points. Well, nope, sorry, it's too expensive. So, yeah, that's the downside. I wanted to, uh, now, uh, just, uh, uh, just tooling the tanks, it didn't do that much. Most of the cost here is actually the fairings. <laughs> we have to tool the fairings, that's the big deal here. If I could get to this fairing bit. Okay, tool inner stage base. Tool the fairings. Well, we're down to 1,600, still pretty expensive, but we can work with it. It's a complicated business. Let's see how it goes. Probably we'll have a lot of test flight issues. That'll be fun. Okay, so let's save that again and build. Well, it's gonna take 162 days to build that. By that time, by the time we get through it and rolling out, uh, we might be ready for the able core. We'll see. Well, close to it anyway. Certainly, it wouldn't make sense to design a rocket without the able core. The benefit of the able core is much lighter than the procedural avionics unit. Eight days to roll out. 
And of course there's a rollout cost, which is really expensive. Okay, I uh, because it's funny, it looks like it's pointed directly upward. What does this far have to say about our position? We're only tipped uh, 0.8 degrees, so that's not much. But it'll do. I think it'll get us over the ocean. So, we actually have SAS. We can't do anything right now, though. Which is fine. Alright, here we go. Ignition. And launch. Uh, it's going the wrong way. It's going the wrong way. Uh, this is bad. I tipped it in one direction, it goes the other direction. Typical. Typical young rocket. Are we over a different biome? Shores. Well, I apparently have done shores, okay. Now I didn't uh, action group the goop container though. I want to do that at high altitude or in space though. Two engines down, still going strong. I probably want instantaneous staging. We'll see, I don't know. It's not spinning that fast. Oh, that was a bad choice. Bad choice. Oh, it all broke up. Oh, come on. Tell me there's a goo somewhere. Okay. Um, deploy? I don't know what deploy means. Got a controller. Does deploy mean I get the science? What do you mean? Okay, whatever. Arm parachute. Doesn't this have communication on it? That's omni range of 200 kilometers. So... Why can't I get the science? Hmm. I have, I have, I have electric charge. Yes, a lot of things got destroyed, I understand. We've still got an Araby up there. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. Um, well, I definitely can't do that thermometer. There's no guidance unit. Where's the other parachute? Oh, it's all on its own. I'll arm it, just in case. But I'm a little bit distressed that we couldn't get some science out of this. Okay, we have reached the ground, <laughs> floaty, aerobe, and all, and recover. I don't know if we'll get any science from it, but... Well, just the point eight science from recovery of a vessel that survived the flight, no, nothing about the goo. And so I don't know why that is. What does it take to do goo around here? Okay, we, we can probably just wait for some other technology before doing anything new. I don't feel a special urge to waste funds here. Well, okay, maybe I do. Um, we'll keep the error bees like that. We'll wait a little bit more. We'll use the RCS thrusters to despin if that becomes necessary. We'll, uh, maybe we should have uh, RCS thrusters to sell fuel down. Or should we just use snubatrons? Okay, two snubatrons added, not with spin. And I thrust limited to 30%, and that's because they have a max burn time of 3 seconds, and that gets them to 3 seconds. Maybe uh, it should be a little bit more than 30. There we go. And that during separation we find. Or maybe just a little bit post separation. I'm gonna have three sets of fins. I'm gonna keep these down here and have straight ones up there. Reason I'm doing this is so that they'll have a chance to uh, despin, because it's still gotta be in the atmosphere when we switch to the second stage. So we'll we'll have this spin up, but we'll try and despin with these. Well, it sure didn't go in the right direction.
try and be a little bit more decisive about pointing that away to the east. I think after the first stage expends, we should not decouple immediately, that's for sure. Okay, throttle up, and, and let me get, uh, get the goo prepared, I mean, let me see, there's something about the goo I do not understand. J uh, observe bio sample. Well, you didn't give me that option before, and I don't know why. Hmm. Is that going to go away as soon as it leaves the pad? Let's see. Ignition. One engine failed already. And a little bit of a problem on another one. It's fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, it doesn't let me observe the biological sample with a... Uh, oh, this is bad. I wonder what it takes to observe a biological sample. We're now not so ballistic. <laughs> this is probably gonna rip apart pretty soon. Wish I had put controllable fins instead of these. Shores still. It's going down. Oh, come on, it's ocean now. Alright, let's just prepare to shut down. Ah, uh, come on. Please let me. Ah, uh, still shores. Oh well. Well, this happens. So, it was an ambitious rocket. And submarine. But in the end, a rubbish rocket. Okay, well, I think I should leave the use of newer technology till the next episode and our quest for orbit also. Um, we didn't really pick up many contracts, not that we would have fulfilled them. Uh, so we need a first solar-powered satellite, sounding rocket intermediate. That's where we get to use the sounding rocket payloads. So we need to put those on something. And we'll see. But uh, next time we will try for some of these other contracts, carrying payloads and also trying for orbit. That's fairly lucrative, so that gives us a lot of, a lot of money, but short duration, and they take back all the money if we fail. So let's have a rocket capable of doing it before we actually take the contract, I think. I think that's the better way to go. On that note, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.